don't mind, if you want to walk around and shake somebody's hand and give them a big hug and tell them good morning, so glad to see you. If you don't want to do that, just stand where you are and give God praise. Amen.
ready now. If you need a sheet of the church covenant, will you raise your hand? And the usher will give you a sheet of the church covenant. If you need a church covenant, raise your hand. That should be heaven you more. We will prepare now for the reading of our church covenant. Here in first Sunday, we will be reading the church covenant. Praise the Lord, saints of God. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord, saints of God. Praise the Lord. Amen. To you all who are streaming in, we are at 4249 Avenue North, the church in Kingston, where our pastor is, Pastor T.N. Miller. We would ask that you uh, come out. We still got enough room for you up in here. I understand that most of you all are probably out of town traveling or something like that. Or whether you in Birmingham or not, we got enough space for you over here. David said, let us go into the house of the Lord one more time. And that's what we need to be in the house of the Lord. Uh, Christmas, Thanksgiving, Fourth of July, it just don't matter. Because if we ever needed the Lord these times of these days, we need him. Amen. We really do. Yes, God bless you and God keep you. Our scriptural reading will be our uh, church covenant. And will you please stand? I will read and you will respond. And they enter into a covenant to seek the Lord God of their father with all of their heart and with all of their soul. What common experience lead us into spiritual fellowship and covenant relation with God and one another? As we believe by the Spirit of God, we receive the Lord Jesus Christ as our Savior, and on the profession of our faith, and we baptized in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, we do now in the presence of God, and this assembly will most solemnly and joyfully enter into the covenant with one another as one body in Christ. What are some of our privilege and duties in this, our own church? We engage, therefore, by the aid of the Holy Spirit, to walk together in Christian love, to strive for the advancement of this church in knowledge, holiness, and comfort, to promote the prosperity of the future and reality. What vows do we gladly make as stewards of that which God has entrusted to us? To contribute cheerfully and regularly to the support of the ministry, the existence of the church, the relief of the poor, and the spread of the gospel through our own nations. For the sake of our homes and loved ones, what task do we humbly assume? We also engage in for the sake of the unsaved, for whom Christ died, what manner of life and conversation are we solemnly pledged? To all the in the world, to be in our buildings, in our engagements, and in our Since one is our master, even Christ and we are brethren, by what fraternal ministry are we to strengthen each other in the dawn the teaching of our Lord and Savior? <laughs> This church. We all engage that when we move from this place, we will assume our house and unite with some of the church of this day, where we can carry out the spirit of this heaven and the principles of God's words. All together, coming um, from this time and age, we pray for grace and strength to keep you in our holy lives for the sake of Jesus Christ our Lord. Let us go to the throne of grace. And 
just close your eyes and God can hear all of us at the same time and in the same place. But do care for somebody with you. Let us bow our heads. Lord God, we come again before your presence. Lord God, in Christ Jesus' name, we are not professing to already have arrived at our heavenly Father, but we press toward the mark of the high calling in Christ Jesus, our heavenly Father. We all have sinned and come short of the glory of God. We can't point our fingers at nobody. But Lord God, we thank you that you give your grace and mercy to every time. Yes, sir. And Lord God, keep us together as a family. We need not to tell you what's going on now if you already see and you already know all heaven. Oh, yeah. That if we ever need you, we need you right now, all heaven. Father. There's people greater than we is. There's people that is bigger than we are. Lord God, that is sitting up in Washington, D.C., all heaven. And all of them Washington, D.C. have not been born again, our Heavenly Father. Yes, sir. But Lord, they are our leaders, our Heavenly Father. But Lord God, your word tells me that you have the key heart in your hand. And you can dial it to the left, and you can dial it to the right, our Heavenly Father. Lord God, not our will, Lord, but your will, our Heavenly Father. Because it is, Lord.
Go ahead and do it right here.
Thank you. 
one of our members missed a step and she failed. But I just know God is a healer. Amen. He Amen. will see her. She did not want to call, but we have to be more safe than sorry. Yes. So we just want them to check that out. Before I pray, I want to say this again. There's so much going on. The devil is rapidly going to and fro, seeking who he can get to the battle. I heard Reverend Lumpkin today, and I pray that you all will have a safe celebration of the Lord. Let me be a, a Negro real quick. Alcohol do strange things. It don't take with just one drink and somebody will say something out of hand. And the whole thing go down to the gym. So shun the very presence of evil. If you got to go where a lot of drinking is going on and hell raising is up, find some place to go. Just go home. If you have a family reunion, because see, if you tell a person what they can drink and what they cannot drink, you can have a problem. So just, to just go home. And it's too hot to drink in the house. <laughs> that whiskey will make you have a stroke. And if you eat that pork too, and if you pass out and die, don't come up in here tonight. Eternal God, our Father, we thank you for the gifts and for the givers. We pray, oh God, that it will be used to the glory of thee. These are the blessings we ask in that name. Amen. Amen.
says these words. Brothering, he announced, if a man be overtaken in a fault, ye which are spiritual, restore such a one in the spirit of meekness, considering thyself, lest thou also be tempted. For if a man think of himself to be something, when he is nothing, he deceiveth himself. But let every man prove his own work, and then shall he have rejoice in himself and alone, and not in another. For every man shall bear his own burdens. Let him that is taught in the word of communicate also him, and teach us in all good things. Be not deceived. God is not known. For whatsoever a man soweth, that shall he also reap. But he that soweth to his flesh shall flesh reap corruption. But he that soweth to the spirit shall the spirit reap for everlasting. Let not us, and let us not lay aside everything we are doing. For in due season we shall reap if we faint not. And when we have therefore the opportunity, let us do good unto all men, especially unto them who are of the household of faith. I want to stop right there for 10, 11, and 12. You read it for yourself. But I'm going to talk for just a moment. And please listen. Please listen. Be careful how you treat others. You can take this up. Now 
God, Father, thank you for this opportunity. Speak to me and speak through me. That the people will hear see that the words of our mouth and the meditation of our heart be acceptable in thy sight, O Lord, my strength and my heart. Paul here addressed this particular passage. He says, first of all, he said, brother, and he, that means ladies and men. He says, if a man is overtaken in a fault, ye which are spiritual, restore such a one in the spirit of meekness, considering thyself, lest thou also be tempted. There are those who come to church, they ain't nobody saved, but them. <laughs> There are those who come to church act like they ain't never done no wrong. But the Bible said we all have sinned and have come short of the glory of God. He also said if we say we have not sinned, we make it him a lie. Truth is not in us. This is a place where people ought to be able to come and enjoy Jesus. That's right. This ought to be a place where people come and can clap their hands. I know that in some churches they have rules and regulations. All right, all right, all right. But I read in the 100th Psalm, it said, Make a joy of Unto the Lord, all ye men, serve the Lord with gladness. Come before his presence with singing. Uh -huh. Know ye that the Lord, he is God, is he that has made us and not we ourselves. We are his people Amen. and the sheep of his pasture. Then he said, enter into his gates with thanksgiving. Yeah. Right. Is there anybody got something to be thankful for today? Yeah. And I'll tell you, his court. And be thankful unto him and bless his name. Amen. And then the 150 or so, the last part said, let everything Amen. that has breath praise the Lord. Praise, the Lord. praise ye the Lord. Amen. I don't know about y'all, but this is not just for this joy All right. All right. that I have. And y'all ain't gonna take my away. There's some of you in here right now is a living witness that the doctor did all that to do, but Jesus is a healer. Yeah. Jesus is a way maker. Yeah. And you may tell I'm gonna sit up in here with my own soul. All right. All right. All right. And act like I'm dead in some bad chip. No. I can see so much. All right. What the Lord has done for me. And as I went down some few today, there's a whole lot of you in here, Ms. Olive, and all of them got a testimony. Amen. That God been mighty good to me. So he says here, the brother will take it on the phone. I really want to bring a good news Bible out here because, see, it said that if a brother is encountered with a bad problem, ye which are Spirit, you ought to be able to go to that person mm -hmm. in love. All right. See, some of you that I know your mess, I know what you did, but you may know my mess. But somebody know your mess. All right. All right. All right. And you got to be careful. The way your brother say sweet. Before you try to sweep around the mouth. Right. I read in the, in the gospel say before you can get the bee out of my eye, you got to get it out of your own eye. You got to know how to treat folks. That's right. You got to know. I, I hear you. Let me preach this here. Take my time yeah. to deliver God's word. All right. All right. 
He says here, lest thou also be tempted. Because see, I need y'all to understand. Satan knows all of our shortcomings. Mm -hmm. That's right. That's right. You can fool some folks some of the time. Mm -hmm. But you can't fool them all the time. That's right. And he knows your weakness. That's right. Sometimes your weakness ain't all that sex and all that. Sometimes your weakness is in smoking. Yeah. I hear you money. Yeah. You got a lot of shortcomings. Mm -hmm. right. And every now and then, the, the devil will bring some of them to you. Mm -hmm. The devil is a tempter. That's why. Right. Say tempter. tempter. He knows how to tempt you. Yeah. Uh -huh. yeah. Okay? Uh -huh. yeah. See, see, I tell people all the time, they, 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 they think I'm crazy, but look, you got to be careful how you approach certain situations. Because what you may not do, somebody else may do. Mm. And the enemy knows exactly what will take you down. Mm. Okay? Let me give you a scenario. I don't know why, and, and I know I'm gonna laugh, I ain't never gonna get off and say what I got to say. But there was a time when men and women knew how to come to church Amen. in a respectable way. Mm -hmm. You ain't got to say man. I know I'm right. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but, 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 I used to have a, 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 a Sunday which called Where Which Casual. Mm -hmm. And in the casual look, they came in here. <laughs> Casual. Look. All right. Ladies, now you may not like it, but I'm gonna still be here next Sunday. When I'm <laughs> Come on. Ladies, go in and everything. And didn't have no problem in where. Knowing that there were men in the church. All right. Now every man didn't come to hear me preach. All right, all right, come on, come on, come on. Every man didn't come to hear me say. All right. But but there are some women knew exactly you. Do you know what happened to Samson? Delilah knew what he needed when he needed, and she knew how to give it. Let me say this. In the Bible, see, he said, if you look upon a woman and lust in your heart, you have already seen it. This should be a place where we ought to be able to represent God's people. All right. Now, I ain't got no problem in what you wear if you wear appropriately. Amen. But now, when you want to go on a dress code and looking like any kind of way, I got a problem with that. Because God's house is a sacred place. That's right. Let me put it to you. Some of you got the right strength, but the wrong yo yo. <laughs> because men. Men are going to look at women whatever they are wearing. Mm -hmm. And they ought to look like they're going to church. Amen. Well, you may say, Reverend, I don't wear that. I don't wear the hats. That's fine. Right. But you ought to dress appropriately. Yeah. That people don't lust after you. Mm. Right. See, women don't have to go down to the French Quarter and all this kind of stuff no more. They come to church. <laughs> Fish one will play out. <laughs> Teens are played out. <laughs> they say if you want a good man, you better go to church. Preach, brother, I know y'all met. I'm giving you a 4th of July meal without any meat. <laughs>
have prayer with me. Yes, Amen. You ought to be able to say, look, 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 look. That, that boy's sitting right here. But, but you ought to be able to say, look, if God brought me, All right. Come on. Come on. he can bring you also. If you're here for the right reason, we have to bear one another's burdens. Because I might have my time right now, but you might glorify off of my downfall, but rest assured, your day is coming too. We need to bear one another's burdens. Oh, but when we get to this point, for if a man think himself, to be something when he is nothing. He deceived himself. Now, 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 I might not know your name, but I know your face. All right. And as the last one of you in here, a member of First Baptist, not even a member, you are important to me in my life and in your life. You know, I might not call you all the time, but I know one thing that will last. The prayer of the righteous. Hmm. <laughs> Y'all know this prayer, don't you? Availed much. And somebody, every time I get through, when I pray at night, Lord, bless my church family. All right. And somebody prayed for me. Somebody had me on their mind. But when you pass by folks, and act like you don't know them, see, something wrong somewhere. That's what's wrong with a lot of them. That's why a lot of these young men, that's why everything is going wild, because nobody want to take the time to show these men and women that somebody care about them. There's too much wrong about that. And when you think you're better than anybody else, stop for just a moment and take a retrospective view. Yeah. Where you once were. All right. Come on. The way you are. Ready now. Come on. Paul said, I got nothing to brag about because by the grace of God. Amen. I am who I am. And I am where I am. Yeah. Let every man prove his own words. Then shall he have rejoiced in himself alone and not in another. May what you do speak for you. You can't, you can't ride off the map. I may be your pastor, but all of us got to work out our own soul salvation. Amen. You got a job to do. And just coming to church ain't gonna change. It's, it's an everyday job. It's an everyday time you got to put forth to serve God in the time that we have right now. Yes. Amen. So much is happening. If ever we needed the Lord before, Shoulder need we sure do need him now. But every man should bear his own burdens. I, 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 I deal with that. You can't, you can't bear my burdens, but you can pray for me in my burdens. Yeah. All of us. So the chair you say every tub got to sell his own body. All right. So let's look at this thing. Let's look at this thing. Be careful how you treat the man. They may not dress like you. They may not look like you. They may not smell like you. But they're God's children. That's right. That's right. I think somebody said, if you have to wait way down, won't you pick you up? Yes, they will. Yes, they will. That's how good God is. Let him that talk in the word communicate unto him that teaches in all good things. It's our job. It's our job as pastors and teachers to teach the word. If anything going to change your life, it ain't going to be me by myself. It's going to be by the word of God. And how shall they preach? Teach without preaching. And how shall he preach itself? He be saved. How beautiful are those that preach the gospel of peace. That's what we need now. We need the word of God. 
Yeah, this is change around here. Kingston and everywhere. We need the word of God. Amen. Marching up and down these streets ain't going to do you. You can march till you get blue in the face. But I'm going to show you a remedy that I can do. If you keep on calling on the name of Jesus, he got to come and see about it. If you keep on calling on him, he will come to Kingston and turn this thing around. But you got to call him. You got to call him. Martin is not going to get it. But you got all of us know the power of prayer. Yeah. He'll make a way out of nowhere. Yes, he will. I need you to understand also. Be not deceived. God is not mine. But whatsoever man is so with, that shall he also reap. All right. You ever heard of a boomerang? Mm. If you throw it out there, yeah. it's coming back too. What are you saying, Pastor? God is not mocked. God is not mocked. If he said, that sells it. He means what he says. So now, if you hurt somebody and you deliberately hurt, rest assured, what goes around comes back around. And it might not be exactly like you expected to be. I know you didn't expect this message, but we got a lot of people perpetrating like they love them and can't stand. Then he says, he that sowed to the flesh shall reap corruption. This, this body is a temple of the Lord. And you ought to be able to treat this body as the of the temple of the Lord. Yeah. And everything don't need to come out of this body. Right. And everything don't need to go in this body. Right. So if any yeah. man be in Christ, yeah. he's a new creature. Yes, all things are passed away. Yes, and behold, all things are become new. But you said, once Christ come in your life, you ain't got to walk around with your Bible in your hand. You ain't got to walk around with a cross around in it because there's a something about a child of God, it'll show up in your attitude. It'll show up in your gratitude. This is what it's all about. If this world's being changed, we got to let Christ come into our life. James said, please be patient with me. God is not through with me yet. And all of us in here are working products. Yes, we are. He's still working on all of us. So who are we to judge anybody? Who are we to knock down anybody? All of us are working products. So let us not be weary. In well doing. For in due season, due season. you shall reap if you faint not. Right. And that's what I'm going to talk about right there. Oh. Don't give up right now. Right. I know some of you sitting here and going through some tough times. I'm going to raise my hand. I, I have my share of up and down, but I'm not going to throw in the time. Yeah. I don't feel. No. Listen to y'all. <laughs> no way. I come too far from where I started from. You know, I say, nobody told me that my road would be easy. But I don't believe he brought me this far to leave it right now. So don't give up right now. The battle is not yours. It belongs to the Lord. Hang in there. As you hang in there, be careful now All right. how you treat other folks. Right. Be careful how you put the mouth on other folks. Right. Because it'll go, it'll get you too. Okay. So he says, as we have this opportunity, let us do good unto all men, especially unto them who are the household 
of faith. Learn how to treat folks. Learn how to speak to folks. Learn, learn how to give people a loving attitude. Learn how to be able to say how you're doing. All right. Learn. Don't worry, I ain't gonna say that to him. The same one you say you ain't gonna say that to him. Might be the same one. They're coming to give you something to eat. Think about it now. Think about it this morning. That all of us in here are working products. No, this ain't no shot missing, but it's a learning process. Yes, That we learn how to treat one another. We'll be a better group. God bless you. God keep you. But let this word minister to your heart and your mind. There's no big eyes and little use in God's eyesight. For he said, the first shall be last. And the last shall be first. So as I close, be careful how we treat one another. Love is. Love is. Hold somebody's hand. Now that hand you don't want to hold, just turn it loose and go find somebody. I've said this some 30, 40 years. Getting old now. And as young as I was when I first came here. But there is a motto that I will live to the day the Lord called me home. And it simply says, be careful of the hand you hold. Because you never know who hands you are falling in. That hand you hold, it might have to feed you one day. That hand you hold, it might have to clean you one day.
The devil's going to trick you something. Say thank you. It's in your name we pray. Amen. Amen. Please follow my instructions. 